I know it's been a while since I talked to you guys, but I'm back around. We've got a new fusion incoming, and uh, I think it's a pretty decent fusion. Uh, but more importantly, the schedule for it's out. And yes, it's back to a reasonable fusion schedule. We have options again, guys. It was actually kind of exciting. So let's look at it. <laughs> Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. We've got a lot of new stuff coming in today on Thursday. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of kind of new stuff happening. Number one being, there's a new fusion coming out for Zen Ogre Blade Master. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the news already about this champion coming out. I've done a couple of videos that I'm going to be publishing in the next day or two on her. I think she's actually, uh, you know, a lot of people, I, I've seen some comments where some people are skeptical of why this champion's good, and I think she is pretty good. And I'll hopefully, be able to show why she's not gonna be great for everybody out there um but with this limited uh monster hunter collaboration going on limited time for that i do think it is a champion you know worth pursuing and getting because you're never gonna have another chance to get her i think that plays something into this uh she's got kind of an interesting unique kit but the more important thing is obviously she's uh you know we have the fusion coming up and we have the schedule for it and i'm so happy i'm so very happy that Polarium seems to be listening to us, finally, guys, because for the first time in a long time, we have a lot of fragments to choose from. Now, basically what it is, is we've got, I mean, it's not crazy, let's not get overhyped here, but you're gonna have a little bit of leeway. About 15 extra fragments are going to be available in this fusion. Um, if we look at the schedule, you can see we've got, 20 bonus fragments coming from champion cha training tournament and the champion chase tournament. Those I never even count, right? That's for winning your tournament or getting top three or something like that. And it's like, I I'm not gonna even entertain that as an actual bonus, right? That's more like you luck into that or you wail into that. But what that does mean is there are 115 fragments available after that, um, which I think is good. It gives us a little bit of flexibility. Would I like that to be more? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But an extra 15 fragments is not bad considering that we're getting, you know, five to 10 in most of these. 15 extra fragments is exactly what the champion training event is. So if that's something you wanna skip, you should be able to. The uh, the summon rush is 15. Again, the champion chase tournament is 15. So once again, you're gonna be able to skip at least one of the summoning events if you so choose, if you wanna complete everything else. And this is a perfect way that it should be made available. It's something where if you're a free-to-play player, you're gonna be able to time all this stuff out and put it together and make it happen for yourself. The Dragon Tournament coincides with the Dungeon Diver event, which is really nice, so you can double dip on that. Um, and then the Artifact Enhancement is gonna come after that. I think that should work out pretty nicely. There are two on Artifact Enhancement events, obviously that's, you know, or there's three of them actually, which is maybe not my favorite thing, maybe not yours either, but that is part of it, you know, thankfully, uh, one of the things that's going on right now, which I think we can all be kind of happy about, is we're going to have a free gear removal from today till Monday, right? All through the weekend, we're gonna have 100% free gear removal. So that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to reset our champions and get ready. This is gonna actually come important because obviously City of Centronos is resetting here shortly. By the time you see this, it will already have reset as well. So more than a couple little things going on here. Uh, but yeah, being able to get this event, I think this is actually a huge thing. And as always, we should give credit where credit's due. And one of the big complaints we've had, and one of my big complaints has been the way the free, the fusions have been so limited in the you know fragments available for us. This is a really nice change. I think really, really nice. I think it does strike a good balance uh, of what we want. The idea is that I can skip one of the big events or several of the smaller ones, right? And I think that's, and that's, exactly what's being offered here. And I think that's a great compromise of Polarium with a player base. And so I think that's a really good thing. And it shows that they're listening. It's really nice. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I think you guys should be too. Um, and so that's it. That's all That's all we have for today's quick little video on that. I have more videos kind of coming out today. Um, I do want to do a little showcase on the Blade Master. I think she's quite good. Um, a little bit interesting, not gonna be for everybody, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy with this. So I definitely recommend, you know, not skipping the fusion, at least not at these early parts until you, you know, 
get a full scope of what she can do and be for your account. But anyway, that's all we got so far. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next we meet on the Deadwood Jedi. Thank <laughs> you.